coming to you know, bring them by or destroy them, they cry unto God. They couldn't go forward because the Red Sea was right in front of them. So they were trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptians. And they called upon God, and God instructed Moses to set his rod over the Red Sea. God performed a mighty miracle. They got over the Red Sea on a dry land. And the mighty army of Pharaoh, they perished in the Red Sea. They saw all those things. But as they were going along, they didn't look back. They didn't learn from what God has done. Every little problem they have, every little hardship, they blame God. They complain against God. They murmur against him. Why did you take us out of Egypt? Why did you take us out of Egypt? But they were the one who called on God to deliver them, and he delivered them, and now they are blaming him for what he has done. Why did you do this to us? Why do you do that to us? No. They no, grieve God because of their complaining, because of their murmuring, because of their blaming God. Let's learn a lesson from this. Let's not blame God. Let us not be a complainer. Let us, whatever we are facing in life, let us learn to use our mouth to give God the glory. Whatever we are facing in life, it has not come to stay. It's temporary. It's going to pass. But when in that, in that, in that problem, if you open our mouth wide and say things we're not supposed to say, we're going to grieve God like these people did. They grieve God by their complaining, murmuring, and their blaming him. Secondly, they prophesy negatively over their own lives. You know, they are 